I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Um, I just am a little in a weird space where I feel like nothing I'm doing is enough. But I feel like also, who am I to complain about stuff when I have, you know, health? I have a healthy family. I'm okay during this time. You know, I'm making it work. Um, I have amazing supporters like you right there watching. Like, I'm grateful. But I feel like a lot of people subscribe to my channel for a girl that I used to be. And it's hard for me to, it's really hard for me to transition into the girl that I'm becoming while still trying to hold on to the audience that I still have. Listen to me. You have to go back to zero followers in your mind. That's what I did. Yeah. You have to go uh -huh. back to zero. And I'm yeah. telling you right now, you, you will pick up a bigger audience of being your true self than trying to hold on to just hack the algorithm or the fan base for another view. You're not that girl anymore. I'm just ready for a redo. The end of Just Creations. I'm low-key feeling a little emotional talking about this. It's not a bad thing, guys. It's not a bad thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to be as straight and to the point as I can be. And that is, I'm pregnant. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, I need to get to the point. Sorry, I'm stalling. subscribers <laughs> Woo! for those of you who've helped me reach 100k you know at one point I was really pushing like I want 100k followers and a lot of you guys really helped me and I'm really appreciative I was super like happy obviously because it's like I reached a milestone it was like I just reached a, a good place in my YouTube career you know I made it I finally made it but then after a few days later the honeymoon stage I would say kind of died down and I kind of felt like lost like I felt like hmm something just, just doesn't feel any different <laughs> you know like I thought once you reach 100k I guess something magical something amazing what happens like the TikTok video I don't know if any of you guys own TikTok but there's like a video I'll show you right now so what are you waiting for? I don't know. Something amazing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I was kind of feeling something like that. But nothing amazing happened for a while. If anything, a lot of um, my excitement went to confusion, frustration, feeling lost, feeling like hard on myself being in my head comparing and just i went in a weird cycle of my like thoughts on my channel and just what i was doing in my life and everything like that so i feel like i'm really sweaty because i'm really hot <sighs> but then something finally happened something amazing finally happened now it wasn't the amazing that i was um going for but um it was surely enough much more amazing than I could have ever imagined. Something more amazing than I even saw coming. And that is the end of Just Creations. Dun, dun, dun. But there's good news, okay? There's good news here. Let me explain. 
So about three years ago, I started my channel specifically because I decided that I wanted to start wearing out my natural hair. And during that time, the natural hair community on YouTube was very small. And most of the girls with like curly hair were usually mixed. And I wanted to obviously show that you didn't have to be mixed to wear your hair out naturally and then also i have always been a very like creative and like i was the, always that type of person that wanted to express how they are through their style whether that's their clothes my hair put accessories you know just be extra i was like the weird quirky aquarius girl i guess you could say that had the you know interesting style but then when i transitioned to natural hair i realized that there wasn't that many creative hairstyles like being shown so i decided to do that and it popped off but let me actually take you down memory lane just really quick because this part is very crucial so you guys can know my full story and everything can come together in the end of this video. December 14th was the year that I decided to start wearing my natural hair out and I was not on YouTube at the time like I used to watch again the main people and also my grandmother had just started wearing out her natural hair at the time. She encouraged me because I saw her natural hair journey. She kind of convinced me to start wearing my hair out, so I did. And then I decided to do it here and there, so I wasn't fully committed, but I was just like, you know what? Some days I would rock my natural hair and some days I was still straighten. So I was very confused. I was like a lot of people who want to start wearing their natural hair out but don't know where to start and back then it was even harder to transition because there wasn't that much information about it like yes you had your main people but it wasn't like today where everywhere you have information about natural hair i didn't have like a regular routine i didn't even like deep condition i didn't even think i put products on my hair i literally like thought wearing out your natural hair meant that you could just wash and then after that just let my hair air dry and do what it did. 2014, I was like super amateur, confused and kind of just dipping my toe into trying to see if I wanted to become natural or whatever. And that went into like all the way 2015, I was doing the same thing, just kind of confused and just, I don't know, not really knowing what the heck I was doing. <laughs> um, and then 2016, oh my. My belly's itchy. 2016 was the year that I actually decided to start my natural hair channel. And this is my first ever video I posted. Hey, hey, lovelies. My name is Jessica. Yeah, so that's when I had decided that, you know what, I've been trying out this natural thing for two years and I really want to be able to like do cute hairstyles to my hair because to be honest, I had a lot of damage in my hair. I was transitioning. So in the front of my hair, I had stringy, straight, you know, heat damaged hair and a lot of my heat damage was in the front because that's where I really straightened my hair. So my hair was like puffy in the back and then straight in the front and just, you guys know the transitioning stage. So I was just like trying to figure out hairstyles that I could do to kind of hide those straight parts or those heat damaged parts but still be cute you know and then I again when I looked online it was like the basic hairstyles like regular puff or regular bun and then when I looked for creative hairstyles I would see girls with straight hair and so I decided that you know why not actually try styles that I've seen on people with straight hair and see how it looks on you know my natural hair and obviously tweaking it to the way that I like it and since I was pretty much one of the first people to put out creative hairstyles for natural hair that took off and it was great you know because I had just been a regular girl which I'm still a regular girl but it was like I used to watch people on YouTube you know I would pretend like I'm a youtuber and be in the mirror and just th think like I wish you know one day I have the courage to start my own channel so yeah I was doing my hairstyles but I was still was confused with my hair I still didn't know how to take care of it I still wasn't on a consistent routine like I would literally only shampoo and condition regular condition my hair when I just felt like it if I'm honest I really didn't even do anything to my hair and unless I was filming a video yeah so I was just not good with hair care and also if you guys look back something I didn't even really notice while I was doing it before 
but now that I realize it, it's like crazy. But if you notice back then, I will only show my wet hair results. And that's honestly because now that I'm older and I understand, it's because I didn't like how my hair looked when it was dry. And I think my excuse in my head was because my hair was easier for me to manage when it was wet. But I mean, it makes sense but because I was doing a lot of hairstyles and I didn't want to work on dry hair. But at the same time, I still never really showed you guys how my hair looks dry. So I felt like I was painting like a um, false perception that my hair was just like that all the time, even though I always say that my hair was wet. But anyways, so 2017 was the first time I actually showed my hair dry, which was in the video where I tried out the banding method for the first time. I kind of started trying to dip my toe into other videos or doing different things. I was just as confused as a lot of people who requested those videos because I, I mean, I, I was still on my journey. I think I was trying to get better with taking care of my hair. I started using deep conditioner. I still wasn't consistent with it, to be honest. I think I still would do my hair every now and then, mostly for a video. And then behind the camera, behind the scenes, I was just like, whatever, not really taking care of my hair. But I was learning what products worked well on my hair. I was still doing my hairstyles, but I was trying to put other videos out a little bit. 2018 is when I started prioritizing my hair care over my hairstyles. I came to the point to where I was like, okay, my hair is not like it's growing because obviously I cut out heat at one point. Oh, and that's what I didn't mention. I think by 2017, I had cut out heat completely in my hair. So my hair obviously was not heat damaged anymore. So it was able to grow, but just because your hair is growing doesn't mean your hair is actually healthy. I also was trying a lot of protective hairstyles. I created my first weekly hair care routine, which let me tell you, when I look back, I was not consistent with it, but I knew that that was important at the time. So it did take me time to get on the routine. I have figured out kind of what products work on my hair well. I was trying to be a little more consistent. And I finally decided to trim my freaking hair, which is something that I was avoiding. I was anti-cutting. Like I was like, okay, I don't care if I have heat damage, at least my hair is going to grow. And my hair was still growing with my heat damage, so I was just like, well, that's fine. But then when I realized how my heat damage looked on my hair, and my ends just looked very like thin, and you could just tell the difference between my hair, it just wasn't looking right. And I knew that my hair would progress better if I got rid of that just damaged ends. So I decided to follow Natural 85's um, trimming video, which went pretty well. And I started to, instead of doing a big chop, I decided to every three to four months, I would trim off a little bit until, you know, eventually all of my damaged ends were gone. So 2019, I started trimming my hair regularly, like I said, every three to four months. I learned how to master a wash and go, which was, whoo, finally, it took me some time. This is the year I moved, I got my own place. I probably should have waited, but it's okay. I started being consistent with my weekly hair care routine. And so 2019 was the year where I was like, pretty much most weeks I was making sure that was taking care of my hair. 2019 was the year where I realized that I was too reliant on styling products. Again, if you watch my older videos, a lot of my videos just show my hair very like frizzless, only when it was really wet because that's when it was like super defined, super perfect, when that wasn't really how my hair looked. And I will weigh it down with a whole bunch of products just to tame my curls, tame my frizz. And I just realized that, you know, you could watch my videos on that, but that's a whole story on its own. But I got inspired to do an actual natural challenge where I inspired a whole bunch of other girls to, you know, go a few days or whatever without putting any styling products in their hair. And when I decided to do that, I realized a lot about my hair that I didn't even know. Like, I actually saw what my real curl pattern looked like because it wasn't like, manipulated or weighed down by a heavy cream and a heavy gel and stuff like that. All right, so well, I'm out and about with boyfriend. <laughs> I'm just out in public and I feel like obviously with, you know, big hair and all, people are gonna stare. And that's when I started not wearing much gels anymore because I really loved a lot of like my volume and my natural fluffy big looking curls. And then I started doing less hairstyles and focusing more on hair care because I realized that that was what was important for me at the time. I like 
did the reverse. I started off with hairstyles and yes, that helped me in my journey to love my hair and, and be able to show others that, hey, you can have fun in your natural hair. So I feel like that was an important phase in my natural hair journey. But again, I realized that that wasn't helping my hair as far as the health and the growth of it. And kind of just show my audience like that's important. And 2020 was the year of self-discovery. I don't know, I turned 24 and it seemed like something just changed. I decided to kind of cut out makeup for a while because I felt like for a while I was very reliant on makeup. Whenever I was about to film a video, I felt like I had to put makeup on. I had to look perfect because that's what everybody else was doing. And even whenever I left the house, like it would take me hours to get ready because I had to get my makeup done and everything like that. And, I, and then I realized that is unhealthy. I feel like that was a reason why I was always very inconsistent with my videos because I felt like I had to do the most just to record a video, AKA get all glammed up and everything like that. And it was honestly tiring because that's not me. And you know, I don't judge anybody because there are a lot of women who their passion is makeup and I fully respect that. But for me, I've always been my happiest when I felt like I was able to be myself. And my true self is, I hate putting makeup honestly like I love it when I want to do it which is on the rare occasions that I do feel like glamming up but most of the time I just want to be free bare face wear my hair however I want to wear whatever the heck I want to wear and not saying that I'm never gonna wear makeup again but it's just like I just feel good just being free in my own who I am and then strangely enough I feel like now I'm my most confident than I've ever been. And then I learned about my hair this year. I actually just discovered that I'm low porosity. I actually discovered this channel called Green Beauty and I learned a lot about my actual hair type, not just hair type, but hair porosity, hair density, and stuff like that. And that helped me really like learn more about my hair, what my hair needs. And I am on a consistent weekly routine now. I mean, it took a while, but I'm consistent like every week. I mean, there are some weeks obviously where I'm just like, life gets the best of me, I'm busy, I'm, I may be on my period and very like, you know, lazy. But for the most part, my weekly hair care routines are pretty much like lifestyle now. I obviously cut out my damaged ends, like I'm on a consistent routine with trimming my hair. Honestly, if I could sum up 2020 and it's not over yet, I feel like I am finally my own hair goals pretty much and my hair goal was not necessarily ever about a, a length to be honest it was more about just having healthy natural hair and i feel like my hair is healthy air than it's ever been and i honestly feel like that's all i can ask for like i'm i feel like my journey's over when it comes to my natural hair because I have the results that I've always wanted because at this point I don't care if my hair stays the same length or if it grows longer. Um, I, just, I don't really have a preference. I just am happy that I finally know what works for my hair and I'm comfortable with my hair and it's actual natural and it's enhanced natural state. And then as far as learning about myself, accepting myself, I'm there too. I mean, of course, it's never gonna be 100% but I would give myself like maybe like a B plus, A minus. So with that being said, I feel like now I'm kind of like closing a chapter in my life. I'm closing my natural hair journey chapter because you know, I made it to the end, I accomplished that goal. I'm closing my self love, self acceptance chapter. So I've learned a lot about myself. And over this quarantine time and me being stuck at home, I've really realized my purpose in life and what I really wanna do and what really makes me happy. And I've even thought about my future and with me being out of college, like like what am I, what is my plan here? Because I, I know currently I've been struggling financially and I'm just like, I need to come up with a full plan and really start acting and pushing myself to do the things that scares me that is going to help me and allow me to chase my dreams and hopefully become successful. So that's gonna be the next chapter in my life. And that's why I'm deciding to end Just Creations because I feel like Just Creations was the old me, you know, was the girl who was on that natural hair journey, was the, the girl who was trying to figure herself out but didn't really know what she wanted. And I'm happy I was able to share that chapter and help a lot of you guys. And that was amazing, but 
I realized that I'm not that same girl anymore and I don't have Oh my gosh, it's freaking that. I don't have the same passions to do any more hairstyles. Like, I still have my creativity in me, and of course I'm going to do it here and there and blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to be the natural hair girl anymore. <laughs> that honestly was not something that I planned on happening. It just so happened to happen that like that. I've been thinking about this for a while, which is probably why I feel like I've been in a weird place in my life. Because I was trying to, like, accept whatever it was that I was feeling not being content in my channel of not being content in, in my life obviously being grateful but you can still be grateful and not like content but I feel like I needed a push and a miracle happened <laughs> that miracle was me being able to get advice from a very successful entrepreneur and a person that i've looked up to for the past few years to reassure me that what i was thinking all along was the thing that i actually needed to do listen to me you have to go back to zero followers in your mind that's what i did yeah you have to go uh -huh. back to zero and i'm yeah. telling you right now you will pick up a bigger audience of being your true self than trying to hold on to just hack the algorithm or the fan base for another view. You're not that girl anymore. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's and so by true. The way, this is a big deal just because this is about to happen to everybody because kids are about to get more famous more often earlier because of TikTok and YouTube and Instagram, but then they're going to go through life and they're not going to be the same person. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, I, and that's true I even told myself I'm like I wish I could just start from zero because I feel like all of my subscribers are not even like, like what is the point <laughs> I'm not even yeah in the head in my head yes 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 you're right you're right <laughs>
me talking to either you guys, any other influencers, content creators, anybody. I'm gonna be interviewing, doing some Q and A's, and then also just showing a conversation between just two girls about whatever struggles. It could be about natural hair struggles, it could be about body struggles, relationship struggles, whatever that you guys want me to talk about. Um, but I will just be interviewing, asking them questions and sharing their journey. And we're just going to be like helping pretty much the purpose of building a community where it's like a virtual girl chat, if that makes sense. And I'm still trying to get it figured out, but that's pretty much the basis of that. I'm actually thinking about doing that live. If you guys can't make the actual live, then I'll just repost the live video of it so it can be like a cool like interactive video and it's something that i've always wanted to do because i am a people person it's weird because i love meeting new people but i'm i'm just so introverted it's like it scares me to do it but when i'm doing it it's like cool like oh this isn't that bad if you guys want to i'm accepting anybody who wants to be on the be true series if you have a struggle that you feel like a lot of girls can relate to and we can like really have a girls therapy session to help other girls as well that would be so helpful and even if you just have questions for me i want to talk to different girls with different stories that will help and inspire other girls because i think it'll be super impactful so it doesn't matter how many followers want to enter then dm me on my instagram at Jess Creations, and I would love for you to be on it. Don't be shy. This is bigger than just us. This is gonna be something that could help a lot of, you know, girls out there that are struggling with the same thing as you. And obviously, if you have a channel, this would just be a good exposure, or whatever the case may be. So that's gonna be my channel. Not much of a big change, but it's just gonna be more about stuff that's gonna be really valuable to you guys um through all cases of your life rather than just mainly natural hair repetitive stuff i want whenever anybody watches any of my videos be inspired to stay true to themselves and ultimately hopefully grow to love themselves naturally as well as glammed and to follow their dreams you know and to know that you can do anything that you put your mind to i want you guys to come to my videos for what i have to say not how I look you know because I don't think that holds much value I can be a pretty girl but I don't want to be known as the pretty girl I want to be known as the girl who impacted a lot of you know people's lives and made them love themselves naturally or, or made them stay true to themselves made them not care about what other people think and made them follow their dreams and you know be happy with who they actually are. I appreciate everybody who helped me get to the point that I am in my journey and those who want to stay and are excited to join me on my journey of following my dreams and doing what actually makes me happy in hopes of inspiring you guys to do the same, then welcome. And finally, if you watched until the end of this and if you're as excited as I am for my new channel and you're here to stay, comment three green hearts let's do the green for success <laughs> green for good luck and success on the new channel and for you guys to join me and you know for us to work together to follow our dreams and stay true to ourselves um because it can be hard at times but we can do it we can do this together i'm so I had to let that out. This is gonna be amazing. This is gonna help so many people.